so this is our first Christmas video in my Christmas series this year on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to share with you today how to do my paper bows. You can see them on my tree, I have a lot of paper bows because I think they fill the space quite well. Uh, my goal is not to have a classical Christmas tree. You can understand that, I love paper and I want to have pretty much all my Christmas ornaments made in paper. I will share with you a few other things for my windows, my balconies and my doors uh, later in December. And I decided because I don't have enough paper ornaments, I teach how to do some paper ornaments like my paper lights, my carriage lights, my mushroom lights, and also the candy carriage, candy house in my Christmas workshop. But I do only five or six ornaments every year and a sort of collection of them. And my tree, of course, is much bigger for all that. So I needed to have a few things to fill a bit the space. So I decided to do a series of big, large and wide paper bows with stripes, mainly stripes and few other deco inspired by uh, other baroque and floral patterns I like to do because I like the baroque era and the 18th century and I want to have things which are always a bit in this uh, inspiration. And I decided to fill my tree with my paper bows and I'm going to share with you how I do them. So how I do them? I do them in craft paper. So those are the supplies I use for my bow to make them. I always use pretty much the same thing. Some acrylic, wood glue, which I always work with wood glue. A white brush, a flat brush, different colors I want to have, and of course some craft paper. I paint first a large sheet, I can have several ones. I will paint with a very big brush, a very round brush, using a lot of water. Let this first layer dry completely. Then a bit later, I will use a flat brush and I will do my stripes. So I try to make them very regular, only using a very soft, wide brush. It works so much easier to make your stripes. I will let also dry these stripes for a few minutes. It might be half an hour, one hour, it depends. It depends how dry it is. Here it's pretty warm because of my centralizing today. So it's not going to take too, too long to dry. Then later I will cut them. I will prepare different parts for the bow parts and two other parts, two other big strips for the sort of uh, strips falling from the bow. One of the tricks too, to have a very sculpted, very interesting effect uh, on your bow is to use a lot of wood glue behind it so you will have a nice, uh, nice shape, nice sculpted shape because once it is dry it's going to be totally hard and it's going to be very pretty and it gives a pretty nice look with all the bows together on the tree with all these beautiful movements on the paper.
And of course I will add a bit of real ribbon because it's going to be helpful to attach my bow on my tree. Now, if you want to dive a bit deeper into my paper techniques and my Christmas ornaments, you are most welcome to join uh, my Christmas workshop, which is going to close, totally close, on the 23rd of December 2017. It's not going to open before the end of 2018. So it's really a last chance to join into this really nice adventure. And the launching offer is totally closing uh, at midnight on the 3rd of December. But you can still enroll till the 23rd of December to, with the normal offer. Some ornaments are also great on the fireplace, not necessarily on the Christmas tree. And some of them can also be some great ideas uh, for Christmas presents. If you like to make your own Christmas presents, maybe it could give you some ideas. I'm going to do two of them and you're going to see that. Uh, in the next videos. I'm going to uh, take some inspiration because after all I can do that for some of my presents this year. And I will see you very soon with a lot of things about Christmas uh, for this season. You can always um, ask me some questions in the comments below. I always like to read your messages, your sweet messages. If you want to be sure you don't miss any upcoming video, you can turn on the notification bell at the top of the page. And for now, I will leave you now and go back to my Christmas decor.